In this video, I want to go through a tricky little problem uh, for kinematics. Um, so there's quite a lot of words to this problem, but it's really setting a lot of it setting up the scene. Uh, so we've got a lorry of length 16 meters is traveling at a constant speed of 12 meters per second in the inside lane of a straight road. A car of length 4 meters is initially traveling in the outside lane in the same direction as the lorry and at the same speed. The gap between the two vehicles is 50 meters. So we've got the lorry and the car, they're both traveling from left to right and the car is 50 meters behind the lorry okay the car accelerates so the car is in aiming to overtake the lorry the car accelerates at two meters per second for five seconds then travels at constant speed for a time and finally decelerates at two meters per second per second for five seconds now the car is traveling at the same speed as before, but in front of the lorry, and the gap is the same as it was before. How long did the car take to get from its initial to its final position, and how far did the car travel in this time? Okay, so really what we want to do is we want to set this up on a velocity time graph so we can really understand what's going on, okay? So here's time. Uh, in seconds rather, not T's. Okay, and we're gonna have velocity, okay, in meters per second. Okay, so uh, we know that both the car and the lorry are traveling at 12 meters per second, okay? So here's 12 meters per second. And the car accelerates for five seconds um, accelerating at two meters per second uh, per second. Okay, that should really be uh, a two there, just so I can doctor that. Okay, so two meters per second per second. So, after five seconds, what is its velocity? Well, if it's if it's accelerating at two meters per second per second for five seconds, then after five seconds, it'll be at 22 meters per second per second. Okay, because uh, it's increasing in speed by two meters per second every second. Okay, so it's increased by 10. So then it travels at this constant speed for a certain amount of time. We don't know what that time is, but then it decelerates down for five seconds, okay, uh, until it hits the 12 meters per second again. Now, if I call this time capital T, then this time will be T minus five, okay? So this is the diagram that we have, okay? So this shows you the traveling, uh, the travel of the car, uh, the lorry is effectively just keeping at the same speed all the way through this process. Okay, so what I can do is I can look at um, the situation as it stands to really see how far has the car travelled uh, relative to the lorry. Okay, so the car needs to travel uh, 50 meters to catch up to the lorry and then 16 meters to get in line with it. So that's 66 meters. Then it's gonna travel another 50 meters beyond it. Okay, so that gets us to 116 plus another four meters. So the nose of the car is in its final position. So that's 120 meters. So the car travels 120 meters in relation, uh, relative to the lorry, okay? Right, okay, so next thing that we're going to do, okay, is have a look at the area underneath this graph, okay, because that will tell us that is the displacement. So I can look at this as a rectangle plus a trapezium. I could look at it as three sections, I guess, um, but I'll look at it as that bit plus that bit, I think. So the rectangle at the bottom will be t times 12, okay? So the displacement will be 12 times t. Then I've got the area of that trapezium, 
Okay, so the perpendicular height is 10, so it's 1 half times h times that distance plus that distance. Now that distance is t. Now what is that distance? So that's t take away 5, take away 5, so t take 10. Okay, so this is the equation that I have. So let's tidy this up. So s is equal to 12t plus half times 10, so 5, lots of 2t take away 10. So that would be the 2, the factor of 2 that's there knocks out that half, so I can write it as 10 lots of uh, t take 5. Okay, now I could multiply that out and simplify it as well. So s is... Uh, 12t plus 10t, so 22t, and then take away 50. Okay, so that is the current situation as it stands. Right, now how about the truck? Okay, so the car, that's how far the car's gone. For the truck, then the truck has just travelled that block there. Okay, so for the truck, we're looking at an S of uh, 12 times t. Oh, capital T. Okay, so that's that bit there. Okay, so um, now the as we know that the car travels 120 meters relative to the truck, okay, that means that this bit here, this area that I've got here, must be equal to the 120 meters, okay? So that extra bit that the car has traveled on top of how far it's gone overall is the 120 meters, okay? So I know that that is the displacement for the car. So what I need to do is I need to look at that, take away the 12t that both the car and the truck have traveled, so that leaves me with 10t take away 50, and that is going to be equal to the 120 meters. So the t, add the 50, gets me 170 divided by 10, gets me 17. So that means that t is 17. The whole process takes 17 seconds to complete. Okay? So the last thing is to figure out how far did the car travel in this time. So... How far did the car travel is substituting into this formula here. So S is equal to 22 times 17 take 50. Okay. So 22 times 17 take away 50. And that's 324 metres. Okay. And that's the answer to the problem.